<laughs> okay, chat. I saw something very funny this morning. Hold up. I saw something very, this, very funny this morning. Okay, so you know how when you qualify for worlds, uh, there's like they send you this like questionnaire and you have to fill out some questions of like what is your favorite food and so on and so forth. And uh, Bowden and the other the other European team just filled this out with I think as many memes as possible because they were like ah no one is gonna see this ever and they put it into Mastodon. <laughs> So it's like, hold up. It's like, so Isk, the team leader, the, the team leader was like, what is your favorite food? Seedless grapes. What is your favorite quote or motto? Sometimes you lose game. <laughs> What's your most favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? Please tell us why. Titanial Princess of Camellias, because I am a princess. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh man. let me check this out in game hold up let me check this out in game I'll, I'll also tell you which is which is our team give me a second all right master duel okay where do i need to go hold up let me claim some missions oh world celebration pog get some sleeves for free neat I'm assuming it's here? Cheer for your champion. There we go. This is us. Why do you have a different second question? I don't know. Maybe... Wait, no, they changed. This is here. It's here. If you could be reborn as a Yu-Gi-Oh monster, what would you want to be? No material. Spiritual beast Apelio. Elemental hero Stratos. <laughs> I chose Ronin Toten for that. What was your quote? I think my quote was something like, it's time to duel. It wasn't anything they could have... They could have just put that on there. Yeah, for some people, they didn't... Uh, they didn't put the quote. Maybe if they didn't like the quote, they just didn't put it. 1984. <laughs> what do you want most right now? Muscle. <laughs> what has been your happiest moment so far? When I pulled the royal finish, no punk the Amin from a pack. So that's the punk, uh, the punk duelist. <laughs> Alright, that was all. <laughs> Can I vote? Pog! Voting for myself. Self-vote. Shameless self-vote. Oh, it already has the group stages. I didn't know which group we were in. Hold up, which group am I in? That's something, we didn't even know that. So we are in group B. I thought that it was going to be that way because we knew they would split us in two groups of four, right? And I thought they would do one group has one Japan team. The other group has the other Japan team, then one Europe team, then the other Europe team, then one NA team, then the other NA team. And then uh, the Latin America and the other Asia would be divided, right? That's what I thought. Okay, so we are in a group with... So we're team Snipe Hunters, by the way, because Snipe Hunter hits on number five. As you can see on the artwork, clearly, that's why we are uh, team Snipe Hunters. The NA team on our side is not the one from Jesse Cotton. That's, that's good for us. I think that's probably the stronger team. All right, well, there's been some other stuff that you can do that you probably should. We, we can, there's like stuff here. Wait, this is new secret packs. And there's also world celebration stuff. What do you get for this? You get the icon, the sleeves, and five packs for 600. That's not that bad. If you like the sleeves, I guess it's not that bad. And the banner. Oh, do you have the, is it a background as well? That's fine then. If you like one of the artworks, I mean, the artworks are pretty cool. That's not terrible. That's all right. Okay, let's get the let's get the free packs. All right, everyone, go vote for Team Snipe Hunters. <laughs> I voted for A1. Wait, which one's A1? Well, 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 getting more and more exciting. What are the rewards? Where the where does it say what we get? For the voting thingy rewards will vary depending on the final results of the team you supported top eight legacy pack minimum one super rare guaranteed times one 
Top four legacy pack ticket. Min minimum one glossy finish super rare guaranteed times two. Runner up legacy pack ticket. Minimum one royal finish super rare guaranteed times one. Legacy pack ticket. Minimum one super rare guaranteed times two. Winner legacy packet. Le Le legacy pack ticket. One royal finish you are guaranteed. Legacy pack ticket, one you are guaranteed, times two. Ooh. And then 2,000 gems, but only for 250 people. Insane rewards. Couldn't have thought of better rewards at all. No way. Because, like, I mean, look, you get... You're telling me... You're telling me I'm getting a guaranteed ultra rare out of this absolutely stacked pool of ultra rares? I can't even decide which one I want, dude. Raster Liger or Link Mail Archfiend or Dig Digital Bug Rhino's Buzz. I, I just want all of them as Royals, right? You just want all of them. Not gonna lie, I would kind of like a Royal Red Colossal because it's my favorite card, but I mean, I can show you what kind of stuff you can pull from these. It's insane, it's quite insane. Look, imagine. Imagine you get a Royal Demise King of Armageddon, and then you're in the year 2008, and it's actually semi-playable. Imagine that. Can you imagine that?